everybody, it's Phoebe again with Space City Soaps, and today I'm going to be making Aleppo soap. Now, Aleppo soap's been made for thousands upon thousands of years. It is a very all natural soap. It's obviously not made with fragrance oils or colorants, but it is made with olive oil, sodium hydroxide, water, and the star ingredient, laurel berry oil. Laurel berry oil is very rich and thick and dark and it smells very woodsy and almost it has almost this medicinal smell to it it smells it smells really good and um, so I'm gonna be making soap with that and since this soap's been made for so long um, I thought it was really cool I looked up a couple of facts about the history of Aleppo soap and one of the cool things is that it is rumored that Cleopatra of Egypt who we all know and Queen Zenobia of Syria both use this soap so I thought that was really cool. Now, I'm not making it in the traditional sense how they make it in Aleppo, but I will link a video down below in the description box that shows you how they do make it in Aleppo, and it's really, really interesting. I really highly suggest that you check it out. And so I have my oils heating, I have my lye water ready, and so yeah, let's get down to it. Let's make Aleppo soap. Now, I'm just gonna take this one away. Oh, it feels so nice inside. Okay. And look how creamy and smooth that is in there. Okay, and okay, so now here, here it is, one slice, one, I guess, half of the loaf. And my goal is to make them cubes. And I've done a lot of measurements, but we'll just see what happens. So right now I'm just cutting these and then I'm gonna cut these in half and then clean them up. So see, I just have this and then I'm gonna cut it in half or make them into cubes. Then I'm gonna clean up the sides a little bit. Yep, then I'm gonna stamp them. Shh. 
Hey everybody, welcome back. Okay, now I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna put a stamp, here's our soap stamp. I'm gonna put a stamp in every on every single cube of Aleppo soap. And I have already tried it. And there we go, it looks pretty cool, huh? I like it. So okay, here we go. The Aleppo soaps turned out great. As you saw in the cutting, I made them into these cubes and then I stamped them and they stamped amazingly. Now, if you, <laughs> if you look down in the description box and you watch the video of traditional Aleppo soap making, you will see that they, traditionally in Aleppo, once the soap is made and stamped, they set them out to cure in these giant, massive pyramids. It's amazing. Um, so I did, I thought it would be funny and fun to sort of stack them up in a pyramid for you guys to see at the end. There's 40 of them and they have quite a long curing time. It's around four to five months. So it's July now. So these will be ready to purchase, um, around October, November time. Um, but I wanted to tell you that you can pre-order if you would like to pre-order one of the Aleppo soaps or multiple Aleppo soaps. Just message me, email me at spacecitysoaps at gmail.com. You can contact me through the website spacecitysoaps.com. There's a contact form. You can also do that. So just get in touch with me and we will definitely set aside some Aleppo soaps for you if you pre-order. Um, but if you don't want to pre-order, these will be going up on the website sometime in October or November. Um, Thank you so much for watching. I am really pleased with how these came out. It is super cool to be, you know, creating soap that's been created thousands of years. Um, and remember to like, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching. Bye.